Hello guys, uh, welcome back once again. And in the previous video, we have seen the session management using cookies. And in this video, we will be seeing the session management uh, using the HTTP session interface. So uh, before moving to that interface, actually uh, this interface will itself creates an another cookie called as J session ID. So this J session ID will be uh, used to track the session in some cases actually in some cases in some cases uh, uh, the cookies might be disabled over the browser so we can just encode the url and pass it the j session id value to the you uh, with the url so now let us see how to create a uh, session with http server interface so the same example so here, yeah, yeah, let me. I have created a session, HTTP session. Uh, so this will create. This step will create a new session. So I can set an attribute, username as user. Uh, I will. I'm just retrieving the records, right? So uh, let me give the username dot order start with string so that's it um, in user role we will declare another id another string So if session is also one JSP object which is inbuilt, get attribute user equal to null, you will redirect it to so in this this time in this time i am just validating the user is logged in or not with this uh, session so after that uh, we will have one more cookie cookie dot get name dot equals session id dot put ID. So I'm just printing the ID over here. So that's it. Now let us check this uh, program, how it works. Um, we go to index.jsp. Let me run it. Control F11 is a shortcut to run directly a file in the server. So now it will take me to login page. So here, this is the thing which added called added in the cookie. Uh, for uh, in the upcoming thing, we will see about this URL rewriting concept, where we will encode this into the URL and pass it uh, with the response. So this can be useful for when the cookies are disabled in the browser. So if I'm just directly accessing this page, uh, so it will redirect it. They are redirected to me the index page by checking the session attribute. Uh, where is that? Uh, validate uh, by checking uh, this. It will just redirect. You can also have our name right over here.
Um, um, Turn dot. Now let me uh, explain the how to invalidate, uh, remove the session. Uh, so it's quite simple. So uh, here we have to create an HTTP session object equal to we will be getting it from getting the uh, interface from the so we have to create an HTTP session right we will be getting the reference from the request object with session so, I already said this will create a new session. So, to access the existing session, we have to just pick up false. So, if session is not equal to null, just invalidate it. Session dot invalidate. This will invalidate the session. That's it. And we can access the same over here, the key ID. So if key dot get name dot equals session ID some dot dot printer to key dot get value. So that's it. Uh, now let us test the same program. In browser. I'm just logging in. After login, showing the session from here and clicking on logout. So you can see the session object, the session object over here. So we will be accessing this everywhere. So uh, in the next video, we will explain you how to create, uh, how to encode the URL and this is, I just pass it with the uh, and made in the session. Thank you. Just like and subscribe.